Do you know that AI is now officially AI? Hmm. So you think it's only human beings that smoke weird things, right? AI don't join. Because what it is doing right now, no sober technology would ever try it. Google discovered a malware. Shalewa, malware is virus. Google caught a malware using AI to hide itself. As in the virus would just be chatting Gemini. See, Ross, I beg, help me before this antivirus disgrace me. Let me show you what this is. So Google woke up one morning and said, ladies and gentlemen, we found something, something new, something evil. What did they discover? They found a malware called Prompt Flux. I, I'm Prompt Flux. Very beautiful name, Prompt Flux, like. Hello, Prompt Flux over here. Hi, it's Prompt Flux. Very beautiful name, but it's evil, okay? And this virus is like the James Bond of all viruses, but with AI access. You know, even from the name, from the name alone, it sounds like something that, that breaks into someone's house and starts to rearrange furniture. You wouldn't even know that it is causing damage, right? And Prompt Flux will enter into a system quietly, and anytime it senses antivirus, it goes, rushes to, to Gemini. Gemini, please rewrite my code. I need a new identity. And Gemini will be like, say no more. Gemini will write fresh code. You know, beautiful code, sharper than 10 ATP. And this virus will dramatically change itself like it's in a fashion show. You know, anytime antivirus is scanning and discovers something suspicious, be like and Pumps Flux will quickly change itself, you know, change outfit as if it were Beyonce in a fashion show. And guess what? This malware is not loyal. So if Gemini blocks it, it will go to ChatGPT. If GPT blocks it, it will go to, to Claude. And it will keep moving from one AI to another just to keep running. And it keeps a multi-relationship, it's very friendly. It keeps a multi-relationship with, with different AI models just to keep running. Very, very toxic. And you know what scares me, right? It does this while running. Just imagine you chasing a criminal and the guy changes to a different person every 10 seconds. And how do you catch that? This is not theory. It's not something in the lab. These malware are following us back to back like Lagos traffic. You know, they've been caught doing code injection, stealing API keys, dodging antiviruses, generating scripts, live scripts. And my favorite part is adapting to, to someone's laptop. So if it enters into a developer's laptop, it's going to act like the developer. And if it enters into your aunt's laptop, for example, it's going to act like your hand. Very polite, very humble. Good evening, Mao. Can I hide into your system? You know? <laughs> And to make it worse, they didn't even change this API header to make it look like normal developer traffic. So you will think maybe somebody is building an application. Meanwhile, this devil is just cooking up something, doing internship. And Prompt Flux is not alone in this. Researchers discovered at least five malware families that use AI to reinvent themselves like they are on Big Brother Ninja. But here's the juicy part. Tom's hardware discovered an AI-powered ransomware called Prompt Lock that uses local AI to hide itself. So meaning, if you decide to unplug the internet, it will look at you like, hmm, maybe you say you day wise, I bought my own AI. It has its own local AI that it can use to hide. Right now, these AI malwares are still children. But you know one thing about children? They grow. Tomorrow we may have AI malware that will say, or more this power no work. Maybe I should try version two. Or the firewall blocked me. Maybe I should go through the printer. This software doesn't just run. It thinks, it strategizes, and adapts. Okay, now that you know what this is, how do you protect yourself? Number one, update your device. Emanuela, update your device. Hmm? And Mr. Sulaiman, stop downloading 
cracked applications you want to install games you want to install adobe photoshop or anything don't stop downloading cracked application if you need to pay for something just go ahead to to pay for it it's better to be safe than sorry chima stop clicking on every link you see on tiktok some of them are you, you even know that these are suspicious things yet you will click on it stop clicking on suspicious things on on tiktok and israel please and um, please stop installing every chrome extension you see on youtube stop it and eh? please and for businesses you need to monitor strange connections to your ai apis number two use ai security tools ai based security tools there's a yoruba saying that we are laughing we are and in this context it means it is ai that we will use to cure ai madness and number three you need to train your staff train your staff and let them avoid phishing emails yes malware is not using ai it is learning it's hiding it's adapting and we are just entering the first chapter but don't panic okay panic small but don't panic fully just keep your devices updated and keep watching my videos because if you ever hear your laptop whispers gemini rewrite me at least you know what is going on right don't forget to like share and let me know in the comment section what you think about ai do you think they are becoming too smart